Happy International Dinosaur Week, everyone! And what better way to celebrate than with a paleolog? Now, choosing which dinosaur to do for this week was stressful. Should I do the first one never discovered? Should I do my favorite? So many options! But then it hit me! I had just done Nothronychus a few months ago, and recently, a dinosaur from the same formation has recently been named. Ladies and gentlemen, random boys and girls, I give you Suski Tyrannus. Its name means Coyote Tyrant, based on its discovery in New Mexico, and its relatively small size of 3 meters long, or 9 feet long if you don't use the metric system. Suski Tyrannus was an early Tyrannosaur from the late Cretaceous period, approximately 92 million years ago. It lived in what is now the Moreno Hill Formation in New Mexico. Ever since its discovery, however, Suski Tyrannus has had some... identity issues. When it was first discovered in 1998, it was originally described as a Dromaeosaur, and then it was classified as an unknown Silurosaur. In fact, it received a dual portrayal as both an unidentified Silurosaur and an unidentified Dromaeosaur in Discovery Channels when dinosaurs roamed America. However, as of 2019, we now recognize it as an early Tyrannosaur sitting on the relatively early scale of Tyrannosaur evolution, sharing many characteristics of Tyrannosauroids such as a small, streamlined body, while having the same basic body plan of its much later relatives such as Albertosaurus, Gorgosaurus, and of course, Tyrannosaurus rex. Like all Tyrannosaurs, Suski Tyrannus was a carnivore, likely an opportunist, feeding on small mammals or larger game like Zumiceratops. Interestingly enough, Zuniceratops, like Suski Tyrannus, shows signs for a basic body plan or a quote-unquote blueprint for later ceratopsids, like Triceratops. In fact, the relationship between Suski Tyrannus and Zuniceratops is one shared over millions of years between the respective groups of Tyrannosaurs and Ceratopsians. The two groups seem to be locked in an evolutionary arms race with each other, with each member coincidingly evolving with one another. Examples including Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus, Despletosaurus and Centrosaurus, Nanukosaurus and Pachyrhinosaurus, Zuching Tyrannus and Cynoceratops. The list goes on! And now that we've identified Suski Tyrannus as a Tyrannosaur, we can now add it and Zuniceratops to the mix showing the two earliest forms of each respective group in North America. With this new information, it not only fills the gaps of the Moreno Hill ecosystem, it helps paint a greater picture of Tyrannosaur and Ceratopsid evolution, giving us a better understanding of these animals and their 158 million year old game of cat and mouse. But would it be Roadrunner and Coyote? Nah, too punny.